Crazy Pixel. Usually quite good, I'd say, at knowing what to expect from a visual novel based on the game's title and premise, but that doesn't seem to be the case with Hikersoft's newest release in the West. Although this game might have all the classic hallmarks of a quote unquote alone on a Friday night eroge, that does not hold it back from being a must read story with plenty more than just a fan service offering. My name is Jacob Cavanaugh, and this is Noisy Pixels Review for Sakura Sakura. <laughs> Sakura Sakura stars our main protagonist Toru Inaba as he enrolls in the prestigious Ritten Tokyo Academy. Due to a registration error, Toru finds out he won't be staying in the school's high class dorms and must instead move into a shack like dormitory, which doesn't sit well with him at all. On his way to complain, however, Toru encounters the dorm mother and resident half of the game's title, Nanako Sakura, who Toru promptly madly falls in love with. Things get a bit more complicated too when Toru finds himself strongly attracted to the class rep, Sakura Kirishima. And so, as our quest to discover both Sakuras is concluded, Toru's mission for love has just begun. Sakura Sakura is a very long visual novel. I'd like to think that I'm a fast reader, but it took me 14 hours to get to the game's first ending. Luckily, when the expected route choice pops up, the game allows you to save, so after completing one, you can easily begin your next journey. However, even these endings are quite lengthy and can easily take about 5 hours to complete a piece. Sakura Sakura wasn't held back by my preconceived notions about what it was. Instead, the game played out as a great and hilarious story about the misadventures of a ragtag group of friends that also just happens to be in Oroje. The art in the title might be a bit dated given the game released in 2009, but I thought it was a consistently good quality across the board. The H scenes in the game are there, but I would not play this game if that's the only thing you came here for. I'd like to think of these hate scenes as a small bit of cream on the edge of a delicious slice of cheesecake. So yes, whilst they are there, they're not at all necessary for this great story. The cast of Sakura Sakura are who carry this game to greatness. Where side and even minor characters make the game more fun and enjoyable, the game also features moments of chibi adventuring where you can move around the dorm and interact with characters and objects. Where the game falls short, is found in Toru himself. He's given a silhouette as a portrait, which I understand might help with some player immersion, but I think it ended up holding this title back a bit. His lack of visual emotion and speech means he can come off as pretty generic overall, even with the depth he does actually have. With that said, Sakura Sakura is easily one of the best visual novels I've played this year. Publisher Soul Press did an awesome job with the localization, which paired well with the great characters, art, and story to make this an all-round must-read visual novel. Noisy Pixel is giving Sakura Sakura a 9 out of 10. Thank you all so much for watching. Noisy Pixel is run by a group of gamers who work hard to deliver news, reviews, previews, and more. Please subscribe and ring the little bell to stay up to date on all of our future content. <laughs> Nani, nani?